Hey everyone, uh, this is Hi9 and welcome back. Well, not really welcome back, but I guess you want to say welcome back to the video. And I'm going to show you how to install the mod uh, oops, uh, for one hour, one life. Zoom out mods. There's like two of them. Uh, Hewitt, that's how I say it. Mod and Ops mod. And I can put in the description where you can find them. Uh, you need to go to get github.com, Hewitt, uh, slash Hewitt, slash, wait, no, github, slash Hewitt, slash one, hour, uh, one life. <laughs> I mean, I'm messing up. Uh, here's the other one, uh, github.com slash ops slash one life. I uh, don't know any of these, whoops, any of these other things, uh, but you go down here. Uh, you click on, uh, download the, or click on install screen, you go, uh, you can Click on this link, and it'll go to One Life version. Uh, there's Linux, there's Windows. There, well, I don't think you need source code, uh, but I use the Windows. You click on that, and then uh, oop, I keep on messing up. Uh, go find your uh, one or one life file uh, folder. Which go to D drive. And go to programs. And go find Steam. It is right here. Uh, for me, I mean. And go down to where you find Steam apps. And you go to common. And you see one hour one life, you click on that. And all you do is save. Now it will be in a, uh, this type of folder. You click on, double click on that. Then you take one life plus dot exe and stick it in wire of a life. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. Uh, now, once you have it, you go to Steam, you click on Games, you press Add Non-Steam Game to my library, and you click Browse, and then you find One Life App uh, H Windows dot ex. E. Then you click on it, and you press open, and you should have it. Uh, you should have it where uh, one life would be at. I kind of accidentally put the one life, uh, one or one life, uh, luggler one, uh, in mods when I meant to put these two in mods. Also for Ian Norton, 
type of things uh, you have to press it's a little bit difficult with Norton uh, to actually make it safe or make it where it's safe I had to do that a few times and now I officially have a life plus and one life app H windows on here Now time for ops. For this, uh, I think it's more e probably a bit more easier, but I'm not totally sure. Um, I recommend pressing release. Uh, go find one hour one life plus, then you press one. Uh, click on release one life plus, and then the version. And I think I used this one, uh, one hour, uh, one hour, one life uh, plus version, whatever version it is, and then dot zip is like two point sixteen gigabyte uh, megabytes. And you basically do the same as uh, the other file. Then you press save. And then you do the same thing, go find uh, the Steam uh, thing or uh, file. Then you double click this. Then you uh, grab the One Life Plus uh, .exe. And uh, if you want, you can uh, grab the instructions also. And you drag it, and then you put in one or li one life. And then it will have one uh, one life plus dot exe. You go back to Steam. Go to games. Go uh, add. Go, yeah, go to games. Add a non-Steam game to my library. Then go to browse. And then you click on One Life Plus dot exe. And then you press open. Since I already installed it, I don't really need to do it. And you'll have One Life Plus. It should be there. Trust me. <laughs> and uh, I could, I guess I would show you right now how they work. For uh, Hewitt uh, mod, you just press H to look for what you need uh, help with. Like zero is happy slash happy, one is slash mad, two yeah two slash angry, three slash sad, four slash devious, five slash joy, six five six slash blush. 7 slash hubba, 8 slash ill, 9 slash woohoo, f1 slash hemp, uh, f2 slash love, f3 oh really, f4 shock, uh, slash shock. Then 
it will make a will make a screenshot. H will toggle show help. F toggle fix fix camera. N uh, toggle show names. Z toggle show cord coordinations. P show a uh, toggle show players and range. G toggle show home coordinates. U toggle show hostile tiles. X is X ray vision. Y find yum, which I kind of haven't used yet. K show grid. Grid. T use short shorts pocket. Shift plus T or Shift T use apron pocket. Q use backpack. Shift Q use backpack. B take off backpack. E eat slash put goes on. C pick up drop baby. WSD move around. Shift WSD and shift plus WSD use pick up slash pick up item. Control WSD drop pick up pick up uh, pick item from container. Show uh, space use pick up item on the tile you are sitting on. Control space drop pick up the uh, pick item from container. Shift arrow key zoom in. Right a uh, arrow key zoom out which is like the mouse wheel control arrow keys scale gui right i r then key remember chords Shift R, then key. Remember custom cor uh, coordinates. Shift Z, reset coordinates to where you are standing. J, search for an object. Shift J, delete last search coordinate. Uh, search word. Control mouse click tile base click. You can change keys and settings by modifying. Hewitt.cfg file. You can have to press double uh, P to look at these. Uh, Graves family, Jones, Picard, Red, Barfell. So far today I've been Red and Picard family. And they're black, ginger, brown, black, white of uh, white. The white are translation family, black are the desert family, brown is the jungle family, ginger is the snow uh, family. Which I'm a ginger, actually. I actually don't use the uh, WSD keys, or mostly uh, almost all the keys, except for zoom out and look at age, which is right here. And that's the uh, how many foods you have, which is just a normal in-game thing. 
along with the cravings. And as for um, Ops mod, uh, you have this, Mother is None, and you have the Eve, or not Eve, uh, Pregnancy, Fertile, uh, Related, Girl Kids, Zero right now, because I'm technically a tutorial, tutorial Eve. Fertile Relative, Zero. <laughs> and if you press this, like, backwards slash, It hides the uh, family thing. And then H is right here. The only reason I like this is because this is more uh, like bigger and also you can hear sounds. Which you do same with the uh, Hewitt mod also. But as for Hewitt, if you zoom out, it becomes smaller. And apparently control. Uh, Wheel makes it does this, really. <laughs> I can't figure out how to make a um, um, name kits. Like, there's like a name generation. For kids, for OBS, I think. And that's about it for both mods. I tried to explain it correctly, or good enough. Hopefully y'all will understand. It's pretty late here, so I'm not that loud, I think. Probably. And also, uh... You can't see like any like those other families. You can't see them on here on Ops uh, Ops mod. And I'm gonna start here for the fun of it. <laughs> okay, it's the end of the video. Bye guys, have fun.